It's uh, very far above my expectation. Show the customers what we can do with our product. My name is Rick Morgan. I'm the Manager of Business Development here at SIGI. GSFMO stands for the Grain, Silos and Flour Mills Organization of Saudi Arabia. So it's a Saudi government owned organization that owns all the flour mills in Saudi Arabia and I believe they also own most of the grain storage facilities in Saudi Arabia. We started working with GSFMO about uh, seven years ago when the uh, Saudi government was deciding to stop growing their own uh, wheat uh, and they've been phasing it out gradually ever since. Uh, there was an RFP issued by uh, the Saudi government uh, for training for their flour millers at GSFMO and three years ago we were successful in getting the first group and we have been successful again in getting a fourth group uh, from GSFMO that's going to start next uh, June. I am Ashok Sarkar and uh, I'm head of milling technology. This program is primarily intended to uh, develop a milling resource for the company um, so that they learn about basic milling technology as well as uh, develop expertise in the respective areas serving uh, various uh, positions in a flour milling organization and uh, take position of responsibility when they go back. My name is Walid Al Zahrani. I'm a mechanical engineer. Uh, I'm working in the Joseph Mo um, and ex executing, de executing department. Uh, I have been here for four months. I will stay here uh, for two months more. My name is Mohammed Al Hamad. Uh, my position in uh, GSFMO is lab analysis, and I uh, belong to uh, quality assurance and nutrition department. Uh, I'm working in GSFMO for three years now, and I'm here to uh, develop my skills on laboratory analysis and milling technology in general. My name is Juan Carlos Arriola Lopez. I am a technical miller specialist here at SIGI. They are not all from the milling background, so they have not all the same level of knowledge and they are maybe focused on different aspects of the, of the milling and uh, that makes the program richer because we cannot only learn from millers, we have people from Quality and they put their help to the program by saying what are they doing or maybe from the mechanical point of view they are sharing what they are doing and at the end of the day we are all very very glad and very happy because we are all putting something into that learning program. Having a long time here is good because you have the time to understand, to assimilate and to put the knowledge in practice. We try and give them the best idea about the Canadian grain industry and the key players. We also invited some uh, private grain companies to come in and talk to them. Mill um, maintenance and we had uh, a specialist come in from Bueller to do that for a couple of weeks. Taken them to uh, a farm, uh, a grain elevator, we've taken them to the University of Manitoba so they can see some of the research that's going on. They're also being exposed to all types of Canadian field crops. They don't just look at wheat, they're also looking at pulses of different kinds and they also hear about barley. When they go back, they'll bring all this information back with them as they've been exposed to high quality Canadian field crops uh, that uh, puts Canadian field crops in a favorable position for them. Uh, we have a funny story with Yulia. We were in a, a pilot bakery. Since we processed two products uh, at the same, in the same day, I was actually scaling pan bread and that was the time when the Arabic bread had to be baked. So I, I showed them how to do that with a couple of like uh, dough discs going through the oven. And then I said, well, it's nothing complicated and you can do it by yourself. So they were interested, maybe like, it's an interesting process. Uh, if you watch like the disc separates, uh, rises inside in a few seconds. And maybe that bread uh, reminded them their home bread. Uh, we were in uh and part of uh, Arabic bread oven and we smell 
<laughs> smell the aroma and we eat all the product and we nearly <laughs> came. I asked where is the bread and they said oh we ate that. There's no bread. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, they found one uh, bread to dis for discussion. One of the great things about working at SIGI is the, uh, the daily contact we have with people from around the world and other cultures and in terms of dealing with uh, the groups from Saudi Arabia being invited to their apartments and uh, sitting on the floor and eating kabsa with them with my hands and uh, just enjoying uh, a cultural experience that you wouldn't normally have in Winnipeg and that you wouldn't normally have in, in many kinds of jobs. So uh, that's always lots of fun.